welcome friends so we have been seeing in the previous few sessions the properties of a triangle and its medial triangle and uh, you know in this session we are going to prove that the orthocenter centroid and circumcenter of any triangle are collinear first of all and then the centroid divides the distance from the orthocenter to the circumcenter in the ratio 2 is to 1 Okay, so the diagram looks a little intimidating, but don't worry, we'll try to explain each and every bit of it. So let's start. So let's first understand what this theorem is talking about. So it says orthocenter. What is orthocenter, guys? So you know orthocenter is nothing but point of concurrence of all altitudes of a triangle. So clearly, if you, you see, in this diagram, I have not shown all the three altitudes because we know that if two altitudes are intersecting, the third altitude will pass through that point of intersection only, right? So hence for the, you know, so just to declutter the diagram, I have only shown two altitudes here. So namely, BK is one altitude and AL and AL are the altitudes here, are the altitudes. So I've just shown these two and clearly H becomes is the or H is the orthocenter right so this is first understood i believe now what's a centroid centroid is nothing but where all the three medians meet so again by or for the sake of um clarity or decluttering the diagram i have shown only two medians one is ad so ad and be be are medians and we know that all the medians are concurrent all the three medians of a triangle are concurrent and in this case g is the centroid okay so we know this and then third is the circumcenter what is circumcenter guys a uh, point of intersection of all the perpendicular perpendicular bisector okay so perpendicular bisector so let's understand now so uh, in this case if you see uh, ej ej and and uh, fi are perpendicular bisectors and we know that the point of intersection of all the perpendicular bisectors is called circumcenter. So I is circumcenter. Circumcenter. Though usually we denote circumcenter by letter O, but never mind. So in this diagram, we are going to call it I. Okay. Now uh, we have to prove that HGI. So we have to prove that HGI are collinear first of all okay and secondly second is hg upon gi is 2 upon 1 this is what the theorem is demanding us to prove so let's begin guys so how to prove so let's first try and understand the you know some of the properties which we know so by midpoint theorem we know that uh, yeah, from midpoint theorem, we know that FD, FD is parallel to AC, midpoint, midpoint theorem. What does midpoint theorem say? It says that if you join the two midpoints of two sides of a triangle, then it will be parallel to the third side. So FD is parallel to AC. Okay, similarly, ED is parallel to AB. Okay. Now, if JE or EJ is perpendicular to AB or AC, then then EJ is also perpendicular to FD because FD and AC are parallel, right? So I have shown that here. If you see, I will just encircle the. This is the ninety degree here. 90 degree here 
right? So these are uh, 290 degrees, okay? And now what? Um, BK, BK is perpendicular to uh, AC, right? Therefore, what do we conclude? BK and other perpendicular on AC that is EJ. So BK is parallel to EJ. Two perpendiculars are always parallel. BK is parallel to EJ. Correct? That is what. So hence, this will imply that angle H uh, B H B G H B G will be equal to angle G E I G E I. Let me just clear this encircled stuff so that yeah G E I. I hope it is visible to all of you. Okay, so G E I. This is what and what is the reason behind it? So you can always mention this is alternate interior angles. Fair enough. So right so this is what we know now we also know let me just write it here let the diagram be here so we know what do we know that medians divide each other in the ratio medians divide each other in the ratio pushed one or rather i should say centroid divides yeah so instead of writing this i should be writing let's say centroid the centroid centroid divides the median centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1 that means bg i can clearly say bg upon g e right b g upon g e is equal to 2 is to 1 right we know this now if you also look at this uh, and let's try this you know um, triangle a b c is similar to triangle d e f isn't it why because if you see angle BAC BAC is equal to angle EDF angle EDF right why opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal correct so if you see this angle is definitely equal to this angle why because AEDF happens to be a parallelogram by midpoint theorem we already saw. If you can see here, these two are parallels, right? So that means this will clearly say that AFED, AFDE is a parallelogram. So D is equal to angle A. Clear? Similarly, you can always say with the same logic, angle DEF will be equal to angle ABC. Therefore, by AA similarity, you will say right triangle abc is similar to triangle def now midpoint theorem also says that fd by same midpoint theorem by midpoint theorem we know fd by ab is equal to sorry fd by ac rather fd by ac is 2 by 1 isn't it? And by, you know, we know that uh, if two triangles are similar, then the distance uh, there are, you know, so if two triangles are similar, then the ratio of their median, their or their altitude, their um, angle bisectors all are proportional to the sides. What, what am I saying? That if these two triangles are similar, then their altitudes, their centroid and their sorry, their altitude, their uh, angle bisectors and their medians, all of them will be proportional, right? And hence, by that logic, we will conclude that if you see BK, 
um, BK is the altitude of ABC and EJ is the altitude of DEF, correct? Right. So from there, from this particular concept or theorem that all the corresponding parts of two similar triangles are always proportional. Hence, we will say that BH, BH by IE, okay, BH is the orthocenter and from H to the vertex B is BH and in the second triangle I is the orthocenter. I happens to be the orthocenter if you see because these are, right, these are perpendicular. For example, if you see, let me say this point is um, M, okay, so FM also will be perpendicular to ED. Why? Because ED is parallel to AB by midpoint theorem and hence perpend FM or FI was perpendicular on AB. So it will be perpendicular on ED as well, right? So hence, if you see I is the orthocenter of DEF, correct? So hence, if you take the ratio of the distance from the vertex B to its orthocenter H with the ratio with the distance of E from the second orthocenter of the triangle DEF, which is EI here. So I'm just trying to tell you is this that this particular part versus or this particular part, these are the corresponding distances of orthocenter of the respective triangles from the vertex. Correct. So by the logic that the, for two similar triangles, all the sides, all the altitudes, all the median, all the in you know in angle bisectors, and all such corresponding parts will be proportional. We will see BH by EI will also be equal to two is to one. Why? Because ABC is similar to DEF. Okay. ABC is similar to DEF. Then now consider in triangles HBG, uh, HBG, and triangle IEG, IEG. Okay, HBG and IEG, we can say angle HBG, HBG is equal to angle IEG. IEG, which is, we just proved here, if you see, this is the thing given, we just proved. Then, similarly, angle, uh, hmm, what else? Um, and this, uh, the first one was alternate interior angle, and the second one, we can, uh, and no, not angles now anymore, so we'll be comparing this, you know, ratio of the sides. So we now just learned that BH by EI is equal to 2 is to 1 is equal to is equal to uh, FD by FD by AC FD by AC or um, sorry BG by GE this one this one will use right so we'll, we'll write BG by BG by GE so hence, my dear friends, we can say by by ASA similarity, rather SAS, my bad, SAS similarity by SAS similarity, triangle HBG is similar to triangle IEG. Right, H, B, G is similar to I, E, G. So hence, what can what can we conclude now? A, E is B, E is the median, guys. This one is the median, right? This one is the median, and it's a straight line, correct? And since these two are these two triangles are now similar, we can say that angle H, G, B will be equal to angle I, G. I G E, right? Why? Sim uh, corresponding parts of similar triangle, right? So if that is true, and 
we can we know that be is a be is a straight line is a straight line because it's a median therefore this particular condition is true only when hgi is a hgi is a straight line straight line that means therefore h g i are collinear right proved first part first part is proved now let's see the second part now since it it follows directly from the you know the similarity itself that h g by g i will be equal to 2 by 1 why because the other two sides are in the ratio of 2 2 is to 1 so in this case the third side h g and g i will also be in the ratio of 2 is to 1 hence proof hence 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 proved right it's a very interesting proof guys you know i know some of you would be you know kind of puzzled when we did this but then i'm telling you you can just um we'll put another video where ex which explains that corresponding parts of similar triangles are always proportional to its sides so uh, but otherwise you know i think you would have understood the theorem just to reiterate the orthocenter centroid and circumcenter of any triangle are collinear and uh, the centroid divides the distance from the orthocenter to the circumcenter in the ratio 2 is to 1 i hope you like this session